completely cross jumped. So got taken out. Literally took the bike out of under me. Like I just slid on my ass. So happy it didn't hurt too bad. I'm gonna be sore tomorrow, but there's nothing I could do. The bars were like this, so we're gonna try to get ready for main three. What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. I appreciate you guys tuning in. We're here in Australia, Marvel Stadium, final round of World Supercross, round three. So we're checking out the track. Track walk's underway. Let's go check it out. I honestly do not even know what direction we're going here. All right, we're obviously going this way. Whoa. Seat bounce, over table, then go on off or something like that. Because you don't want to be hitting off these tables. These tables are steep. Do you think a 450 could go three and then over the table? That's what I was thinking, but I don't know. Because at that point, if you do that, because you, you just don't, you don't want to hit off the, the tables are tall and steep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, then you just go four over this and then two. That'd be big line, though. Yeah, that would be big. <laughs> Yeah, it's a big line. They're all a big line. Yeah. yeah. Three on off four. One, that's big. Yeah. I feel like there's a fair amount of options on this one. I don't know, though. I think for you're on a 250 or you're on a 450 here? That's going to be easy to get three out of the corner. Yeah. Well, I was thinking, yeah, because if you can go three, three and, then over. and then over table would be sweet because you don't want to be hitting off those the front of those tables. I feel like it's going to be terrible. Because your only other option is three, three on, off, and then you're to the moon on this, whatever you're doing, whether you're going three or four. Yeah. I don't know. Those whoops are pretty big. They are steep too. Those things are vertical. <laughs> it's gonna be all momentum on these, that's for sure. They look like they're gonna get slippery too. You're either gonna go three on, off, three, or two, table over single, three. They had a good line. So going through the whoops, roll, and then go on off, then three. I actually do like that. I look at it now that it is pretty intimidating to hit for the first yeah, time. I love the, the plywood we could see on the right. <laughs> I mean, how fast do you? I want to watch some. I can't. I'm happy I get to watch y'all before or the Australian dudes. Yeah. No, that's where those things start. I mean, barely. That's right where it starts. Got a metal ramp here. Single over table. Instead of tripling onto the table, going over the table. That's yeah. what I was trying to say. Yeah. Because then you don't have to mess with like going on, off, and then off the tabletop because the tabletop's steep. Whoops are steep. Sabachi said uh, one of his buddies that like knows the people who are building the track said the guy who built the loops never built loops before. Well, I mean, they're not bad for not well, that, so but. First time, it's pretty yeah, but they yeah. they look like they're they're, they're built very steep. Uh, It'll be fun to watch other people go through tonight. Bro, vlog life. <laughs> Kevin Morans. Morans Mafia, right? Morans Mafia. We're here <laughs> Thanksgiving weekend. We're in Melbourne, Australia. We're having a great time, ready to do some racing. Heck yeah! How you doing? You got these made? Yeah. yeah I, got them, I got them made last year. Dude, that's gnarly. And I got them made this year when I knew you were coming here. Yeah, yeah heck yeah. yeah. And you can see right here, like this is just after their practice sessions. That's going to get real choppy and rutted. That's actually, that's going to be gnarly. But the rocks and the holes are going to stop you from getting that three in, which is going to make it just that much more interesting at that mm -hmm. point. Per usual, we got these little updates. We are going up for free practice here on Friday evening. Special little shout out to Blue Iron Foundation Insuring. They are a big supporter of ours, helping us get over to these races and into 2024 Supercross as well. 
Again, KMR, Kevin Brands Racing, all new program for 2024 for Supercross. If you guys are interested, shoot us an email, link in the description, or go to kevinbrands.com, a lot of the information's there. We'd love to have anybody uh, a part of the program, either as a Patreon, Moran's Mafia, or as a sponsor as well. Very cool benefits coming your guys' way very soon. Let's go for free practice. Just finished up practice, free practice two, which is the final time riding uh, here on Friday. We went four clicks slower in the front end. That way it would hopefully just suck down in there a little bit more. Still kind of struggled. Um, so we're actually gonna try to bring the forks up to the first line uh, just to see if that feels a little bit better because I've kind of choppered out coming into the, some of those three ends out of the corners. I just feel like I'm my front end, I don't feel like it has very much traction. So I wanna get up on the front end a little bit more. Maybe that'll help and uh, will smooth me out a little bit. So other than that, uh, that's a wrap on tonight. Get ready for race day tomorrow. Thankfully, I just kind of followed somebody over it, but it wasn't too bad. I just don't like what you do after that. Like yeah. the three, three, one, I don't like winding into the corner, so I ended up just going like in, and then double, double, triple into the corner. I think. I don't know. You just you're able to flow off that wall instead of checking up and pushing down. It saves a little bit of energy. Um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. We ended up going like seven softer on the forks during that session, and it helped a lot. So just able to finally get to the point where I can turn. So I just need to loosen up and flow a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, jumped off the wall, that was good. So then in the big rhythm we went three, instead of going three on a table off, I went three over table, so technically a quad I guess. And then on off, double in the corner, which was nice. So just need to pick it up everywhere. A little bit smoother and I think we'll be fine. Alrighty, not too shabby. That was the end of free practice. Now we're heading up for our one qualifying session before we go into the night show.
Alrighty, that's a wrap on qualifying. A little bit of a struggle for us, but good thing that we're a racer, not a qualifier. So I uh, have figured out a little bit on the starts. I just have to bring my RPMs a lot farther down than on the KTM. So I did kind of figure that out throughout qualifying and uh, practice yesterday. So hopefully we'll get the, uh, the normal Kevin Moran start, uh, and then we'll see where we go. So we're getting ready to go for up for heat, and then that will transfer you to what gate pick you get for all three mains. So for right now, it's the heat. The Moran's Mafia, huh? Going. All right, you want to sign this? Yeah, no, go second line. Yeah, that one right there. Solid, <laughs> man. Appreciate the support. <laughs> yeah, for sure. shabby on the heat um starting to figure out my starts i was let rev just a little bit too low like it almost stalled on me on the way off the gate but still charged in was like fourth or fifth through that first section and then i just got ran high on that first i was in a bad position in the second corner uh you know it's one thing i'm kind of working through super crosses you got to think about the second corner not just the first corner so bunched up and then i was obviously on the outside going into the whoops and everybody tried going to the inside of the whoop so got shuffled back uh kind of held my own a couple guys made a mistake and then just held off uh Rodriguez, so not too bad, T6, so we'll have a somewhat all right gate pick, and then for me it's just going to be consistent laps and just uh, make it happen. All right, game time, baby. Going up for main event one and two since they're back to back. start and then literally just got hit like three times and it completely screwed me up just about got taken out mr rhythm three people got past me and it's just domino effect so gotta be more aggressive let's go get him again
probably bar too. Got both out. Yeah. Uh, I got completely cross jumped, so got taken out. Literally took the bike out of under me, like I just slid on my ass. So I'm happy it didn't hurt too bad. I'm gonna be sore tomorrow, but there's nothing I could do. The bars were like this, so we're gonna try to get ready for main three. The bars are all twisted up too. Alrighty guys, that's a wrap on WSX. Final round just finished up. Final main just finished up. Obviously, it's not a good look when you got cherries on both arms. Definitely a struggle of a night. It's part of racing, uh, but in the first one, like we've already explained, got hit, screwed up my rhythm, got taken off in the whoops and everything like that. Just really struggled to find my flow and got tossed around. So I was ready to come back for it and fight for the second one. Uh, unfortunately, just got absolutely cross jumped by another rider. I don't know if we'll be able to find video of it, but right after the mechanics area, that little two or three, uh, hill went wide, the number 64 or whatever, uh, didn't check up. I went inside to go double, uh, and instead of Hill kind of cutting him off and checking up, he decided to just still go for it and jump the double right where I was jumping and just took my bike out of under me. So literally landed on my butt, disconnected from the bike in the air. Uh, bike was all twisted up, so that was a DNF for us. And then that third one, uh, decent start. Got shuffled around just in a bad position in the second, third corner again but was fighting back through and just washed the front end really hard right after the whoops. I'm pretty sure you got a clip of that. But guys, it's part of it. You know, I just really, it's bummed for me because I really want to stay top 10 in the championship. We're ninth coming in. Completely screwed myself with uh, how we performed tonight. But again, it's part of racing. Jumping back and forth in between the KTM and the Honda probably made things a little difficult. We'll capitalize, do that a little bit better next year. But just super thankful for Giacomo, Christy, the whole Honda Nils team for giving me this opportunity. I want to come back next year. We're going to capitalize to make sure we do better next year. But uh, Fabio, my Prass mechanic, the whole team uh, collectively giving me a shot. I just really appreciate it. Decker Performance with hooking up the suspension and all their sponsors and everything. It's been really cool to be a part of this. It's really cool to continue to build our fan base um, you know, outside of the United States. A lot of people coming by, watching the vlogs, like probably 50 to 100 people per race. Uh, internationally here coming by saying like we love the vlogs we watch everyone which is really cool so appreciate you guys support and if you guys want to join the Moran's Mafia get your name on the front fender in the United States you can be from anywhere any country and we'll still put your name on that stuff support through patreon kevinmorans.com there's a lot of information on that hit the Moran's Mafia tab also Kevin Moran's Racing teamed up with Champion Tool Storage we're gonna have our whole team our whole own team for 2024 Supercross so we'll have an entire rig entire full canopy set up just for my program gonna be super professional would love your guys support come by sign the bike we're gonna keep that going to help fund the program and then also we got some really cool opportunities for 2024 sponsorship if you're interested in that definitely hit us up support at kevinmorans.com email us shoot us an offer uh, and just see what you guys want to do we'll get a custom package put together you know I pretty much get to make the shot so give me your guys idea and we'll make them happen because we've got to get uh, ourselves on the road fund the program and I appreciate all the support outside trying to make that happen so overall bummer on the the weekend but hey we made it we made all three rounds we're healthy ish we're gonna be sore but arms and everything like that but we're walking so it's time to get uh get to it get grinding and we're gonna come at them for supercross this year what's up guys we've had a ton of people reaching out trying to get a jersey unfortunately we're just not able to accommodate that with we're limited on how many we get and we obviously have to race with them 
However, that is all changing. We have teamed up with Canvas to have a race replica jersey. This is WSX race replica jersey. You guys can go purchase these right now, canvasmx.com. Grabbing one of these also goes back and helps my program. So if you guys wanna check it out, again, canvasmx.com. Go grab yourself a Moran's replica jersey. That's been another Kevin Morant's vlog. Be sure to subscribe for more and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.